advice, love it or hate it. Myself personally, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I dread it, I hate the cold, the thought of falling and breaking a bone. As a kid, I was constantly told of the dangers of ice. Stay off the ice. Every year we would hear of someone falling through their pond ice or the canal ice and drown. This was made worse by the image of a drowning man which is forever etched in my brain. The scene from Omen where the man falls underneath the ice. But ice can be beautiful, very beautiful. What was I thinking? Holy shit! <laughs> it was a good idea when I thought about it. Not so much now. Hello and welcome to a weather vlog. Uh, this weather vlog is going to be in two parts. The first part today and the second part in a month's time. Uh, the reason behind this vlog is we're going to see what the build-up of ice is like this year. Uh, fascinated by ice, uh, like many other weather phenomena. Uh, so I've come down here to the world-famous Niagara Falls to check out the ice build-up for this year. And then we're going to go and check out a couple of other places in the Niagara region and see what the uh, ice build-up is like there. We're going to go to Lake Ontario, check that out. And then we're going to make our way over to Lake Erie and check that out as well. And maybe the Welland Canal and see what's building up there. And then in part two of the video, which will be in a month's time, we're going to revisit the same places and see whether the ice buildup is a good buildup like we've seen in previous years, or is it like last year where it wasn't really good at all. Uh, if you remember about five years ago, uh, Niagara Falls was on the uh, world news because it looked like it had been completely frozen over when it actually it hadn't. It was actually still flowing, but it did give a spectacular image of that it was frozen completely over. And then 70 years ago in Lake Erie, we had the, uh, the ice caves. And a few years ago, we also had the ice tsunami that crashed over in Fort Erie. So we're going to be checking a, thing, a few things out and comparing how ice is right now in comparison to what it's going to be like in a month's time. So join me. The falls have actually only ever frozen over once before, and that was back in 1848 when they had sub-zero temperatures for quite a long period of time. And the, the falls uh, completely froze over these spectacular glaciers of icicles and stuff, and it actually stopped the water from falling over. And that was back in 1848, and it's never happened ever since. Even though it was reported five years ago that the falls did freeze over, they never actually completely froze over. It just looked like it, but water was still flowing from behind. So uh, anyway, I'm down here right now. It's absolutely spectacular. What a wonderful winter's wonderland. I'm going to show you some of the sights right now, uh, and then we're going to move on to a few other places. Thank you. 
check this out, my jacket. Look at that. Frozen. <laughs> I'm cased in ice, absolutely cased in it. It's like uh, super crunchy. Yeah, I'm cased in ice. Yeah, not a nice feeling right now. Anyway, uh, as we were saying, we, we, we're going to keep an eye on the ice over the next month. As of right now, there is no ice uh, in the river below. Uh, there's no ice formed. There's hardly any ice formed just off the rocks just yet. I mean, all around us, all the trees, the wall and everything is covered in ice. Uh, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in, in about a month's time. Because uh, the long range forecast uh, for February is um, below seasonal. So uh, January we had, I believe in January we had 25 days of above normal weather temperatures. Uh, four or five below and one or two average. Uh, so January overall is quite mild, but February is supposed to be quite cold. We're in a cold spell right now. So it really is going to be interesting to see how much ice we get here at Niagara Falls in the next month. Also Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, and uh, maybe the canal. You see it's going down pretty good. Look at this. Things I do for videos. All right, as you can tell, there's uh, no ice here on Lake Ontario. You want to know where I am right now? I'm actually still in the Niagara region. I'm in Grimsby. Uh, just off Casablanca Boulevard, there's a little beach here, a little uh, public access beach and uh, just a little bit of ice building up on the beach and on the rocks uh, but no ice actually on the lake itself and uh, one of the reasons why Lake Ontario never fully freezes over is due to the fact of its depth, it's a very very deep lake uh, the, the lake itself is like a 300 kilometers in length, we're at the very far west end of it and the depth of the lake is one of the reasons why it never fully freezes. Uh, depending on the severity of the winters, you can get between 10 and 90% of ice sheen, which is that film of ice that goes over the water. Uh, but as of right now, we, we don't see any, and actually, I actually thought we might have seen some. Um, over there is Jordan Harbour, just further up the, the way there. And I noticed earlier on today, if you look to uh, the uh, west side of the QEW, uh, the water has started to freeze there, but that is protected water. It's protected from the elements like the wind. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's flat there, basically. There's not like waves you get here. So that would freeze a lot quicker. It's also shallower as well. Uh, but here, as you can tell, uh, no ice at all. All right, let's go and check out the other side of the Niagara region. And uh, we'll check out the, uh, what the ice situation is like over on the Lake Erie. All right, down at the, um, here at Crystal Beach, and the ice has started to form here on Lake Erie. Uh, that sheen I was talking about was over at Lake Ontario, which hasn't formed there just yet. But it's starting to film uh, some, sorry, it's starting to form here in the bay. A uh, very thin layer of ice, uh, lots of open water over there with a little bit more film hanging out to that area. So uh, things are starting to freeze down this way. Uh, but we've got a long way to go before you can actually go on there and walk on it. A long way to go. A lot of film of ice just over here as well. It doesn't care if you can actually hear the ice moving around.
All right, what a difference a day makes. Uh, like 18 hours ago, I was down here and the, uh, there was no wind. The lake was crystal clear. It was very, very calm. And now we've got quite a strong easterly wind coming off the lake. And one thing I've noticed since yesterday is the water levels have dropped significantly here, which I assume a siege is taking place, which is basically the water at this end of uh, Lake Erie is now heading all the way down towards Cleveland, Ohio area, uh, Detroit, which uh, will make their levels rise. And also that film, that sheen that was over the lake yesterday, which we pointed out, um, is now all broken up due to the wind and the waves and is now pushed along here, which has actually created a nice little sound. It's a shame uh, the wind's blowing though. But it's like that little crinkle sound it makes, which is really, really nice. But the water levels have definitely dropped here. You can quite clearly see a lot more sand here than we did yesterday. And uh, even looking along the uh, shoreline there, the water levels have dropped significantly since yesterday. So I can only presume a sea she's taking place. All right, I'm gonna carry on in my search of ice uh, for this video. And uh, I'm gonna head out over to uh, Port Coburn. That's where we're gonna go next, Port Coburn. Let's go. We're down now here at Port Coburn, and as you can tell from behind me, uh, in the still water of the canal, the ice is just starting to form. It has broken up slightly due to the winds today. Uh, the sheen has smashed up a little bit. If we look up this way, the open water, it is very much uh, free flowing right now. Um, the ice build up here uh, this winter will determine when the actual shipping canal actually reopens. Um, usually it opens the last week of March or the first week of April, but it all depends on how much ice is in the bay here in Port Coburn and also at the far end of Lake Ontario, uh, St. Catherine's side, and uh, then how much ice is in the locks. And if there's no ice, the, the canal can open pretty much late March. Uh, so we'll be checking back down here uh, in a month's time as well to see how much ice has built up. And uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. In the meantime, I'm going to make my way over to the beach area and see how much ice is over there. I think when we come back in a month's time, uh, we'll see how much of the ship has been uh, actually scrapped. There's a remnants over there of one. And uh, the, the bit of, just behind that rubble there, that rock, that's the old Captain John's, which used to be in Toronto. That's all that's left of it. This is a uh, gravelly bay here in Port Coburn. And because it's a bay and it is sheltered from the breakwater just over there, the break wall. And so this has actually started to freeze and it should freeze completely fully over very shortly in the coming days. But just by the wall way over there, uh, you can see open water. So Lake Erie, there's not much ice. The only way you're gonna find ice on Lake Erie right now is in areas like this, which is a secluded bay protected by a wall. Uh, so it stops the waves and the ripples. Anything with free flowing water right now is not gonna freeze. It's gonna need a bit more time. Um, but we're gonna come back here. We're gonna try and make our way further out in these areas in, uh, next month and uh, see what we can see and see how much ice we get this winter. So I'm not gonna do the part two for a month. So we'll see how the winter goes. Um, what I'd like you to do, if you're interested, if you follow me on my Facebook page, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, uh, make sure you just like that page. Uh, you can contact me via Messenger. And what I'd like to do, if any of you viewers out there have got some great video footage, like 15 to 30 seconds long, or still photographs of the ice in your area, uh, feel free to send it in. Uh, if it's a video, you can talk over it if you want. If not, I'll just put it on and have some music in the background. We'll put together some um, winter scenes of the ice in the Niagara region or wherever you are in the world. If you're in different parts of the world and you've got some ice, uh, send us your pictures or videos and uh, send it to me via Messenger and I'll, uh, I'll add it to the next video and uh, for our part two video of uh, Niagara in ice. And we'll also do a little feature in that video of uh, your stuff that you're sending in. So that'll be kind of nice, I think. Um, so yeah, great. 
I think we'll do that for sure. Please make sure you like, subscribe to this video. I really would appreciate that if you've not already done so. Uh, it's hard to get out and vlog in the winter, so um, with not many storms coming around as well, I thought this was a great idea to follow the ice story of this season and uh, how much ice we're going to get in this area. So I hope you liked it as well. It was just an idea I came up with uh, last week and I've just kind of gone with it. And uh, hopefully part two will work out good. Please make sure if you're really interested, send me a photograph or videos of the ice in your area and we'll add it to uh, the part two video. And uh, yeah, that'll be great. All right, the falls have... Oh, I'm going to try that again. There's a lot going on here. Falls. All right, it's only been reported once before that the falls... Oh, hang on. This guy's coming by. I think this guy's purposely doing it now. He's seen me filming and he keeps coming back to the same spot over and over again. <laughs> Take 107. It's like... It won't even come off. It's like rock. It's like pebble dashed. <laughs> pebble dashed ice. <laughs> oh my god. That's really... I don't even see that. That's like... It's frozen! Gee... <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> Even my hoodie's frozen! <laughs> oh my... Oh, it feels like it's gonna break! That is like... I can like style it, look!